the studio for New Heights was buzzing with a nervous energy that had never been seen before. Even though Jason Kelsey is usually very calm, he kept looking at his phone with a small smile on his face. Travis Kelsey is usually a tornado of crazy energy, but he was sitting still and playing with his microphone, which was not like him at all. A mix of diehard Chiefs fans and Swifties leaned in close, excited for what was about to happen. All right folks, Jason boomed, trying to sound casual. We got a doozy for you today. All of a sudden, Travis's phone rang. He grabbed it quickly, and his eyes got really big. He let out a choked sound and then another before he exploded and jumped out of his chair. He yelled and waved his phone around like it was a championship prize. She did it. She freaking did it. Jason rushed to get the mic back. Whoa there, big guy. Slow down. What did she do? Look. Travis pushed his brother with the phone so hard that he almost fell over. A blonde woman with a playful look in her eye popped up on the screen. The short video was clearly shot behind the scenes at one of Taylor's shows. A big diamond ring sparkled on her finger as she held it up. After that, she said, Travis Kelsey, wanna run it for life, with a sly grin that made the whole room gasp. After the movie, there was dead silence, and then chaos broke out. People in the crowd yelled, cheered, and some even shed happy tears. Travis, on the other hand, was crazy. He won and did a victory dance that would make Gronk look bad. He also hooped like a banshee the whole time. When Jason finally calmed down, he grabbed the mic back. Well, uh, Travis? Care to elaborate? After stuttering, Travis finally said, as she, she asked me to marry her. On Instagram. In front of millions of people. And what did you say? Jason asked, loving the fact that his brother was confused. Travis blinked, and then a silly grin appeared on his face. Uh, I, uh, I gotta call her. He grabbed his phone again, but Jason took a swing at him. Hold on, Romeo. You gotta tell the world first. Yes or no? Travis finally caught his breath and looked out at the crowd of people clapping. A wave of love swept over him. Taking the mic, he spoke with a heavy heart. Taylor, he said, the answer is a hell yes. A thousand times yes. You're the perfect touchdown, the ultimate end zone celebration. Let's make this a forever kind of game. The studio exploded again, and the cheers could be heard all over the building. It wasn't just a famous tight end that Travis Kelsey was in love with at that time. He was about to start the biggest adventure of his life, all because of a crazy little video clip and the woman of his dreams. Travis Kelsey woke up when the music for New Heights started. It was normal to feel tense before a game, but this felt different. This show looked like it would be a real treat. The news was all over a mysterious video clip Taylor had just shared. The one where she held up her hand with a ring on it that was so bright that a paparazzi could see it from a mile away. Okay, everyone, welcome back to New Heights. Jason yelled, his laughter almost too loud to be heard. Travis, who was still tired, struggled to take a sip of water. So Travis, Jason asked, care to explain why your girl just turned social media upside down with a rock the size of a Kansas cornfield? The people in the studio laughed out loud. Travis spewed like a flattened football as he choked on his water. He stumbled and asked, what? What clip? His voice was two octaves higher than normal. Jason took out his phone and held it up, clearly enjoying seeing his brother suffer. The well-known video played. Before the video cut out, Taylor said, Travis Kelsey, will you? With a sly grin on her face. Travis's face looked just like the color of his chief's shirt, which was red. Is that? Is that real? Jason laughed and said, that's scarier than a Patrick Mahomes touchdown pass, my man. The wall broke. Travis started a freestyle rap that would make any hip-hop artist cringe. As he hopped around the studio like a hyperactive dog, he made the words, touchdown, sound like, gown, and, commitment, sound like, investment. See? That's why we don't let you get close to microphones without being ready, Jason sighed as he avoided a flailing arm. 
no one told Travis, so he grabbed the mic back. This is bigger than a Super Bowl win, Kelsey fam. I gotta call Tay, gotta get down on one knee, gotta. The studio door suddenly swung open, showing Taylor with a smile and Travis's favorite flower, a bouquet of sunflowers in her hand. The crowd exploded. Big guy, it looks like you don't need a microphone to propose, Taylor said with a smile and a funny tone in her voice. Travis was silent for once and could only stare with a silly grin on his face. Jason, who is always looking for a chance, took the mic. Well, this is a first for New Heights. Seems like we're witnessing a live proposal, folks. Travis stumbled on his knees as he finally found his voice. He stuttered, trying to find the right words, Taylor, you're the... With a playful smile, Taylor asked, the lom of your life? Travis laughed, which eased the stress. The Lommel, the queen of my end zone, the future Mrs. Kelsey. Will you marry me? Taylor's eyes got teary. Yes, she said in a low voice, full of feeling. There were more cheers in the room. It was clear that the slow song was a Taylor Swift original as Travis put the ring on her finger. The words to the new song were like a love letter to a big football player with a good heart. Travis and Taylor slow danced at the end of the show as music filled the studio. It was an unplanned moment of pure happiness, the right end to an episode of New Heights that everyone will remember. The studio for New Heights was buzzing with a nervous energy that Jason Kelsey had never seen before. Travis, who is always the star of the show, was slouched over and staring at his phone. Okay, everyone, Jason yelled to lighten the mood, welcome back to New Heights. Today, we'll be talking about. His voice cut off when Travis's phone rang with a message. He almost breathed in the message, and then he had a full body shudder that made his chair crash. He caught his brother before he fell and said, easy there, bro. What's gotten into you? Travis pushed his phone at Jason with wild eyes. A well-known face, Taylor Swift, shown on the screen in a pre-recorded film. She said, hey everyone, and her voice sparkled. Just wanted to share some exciting news with you all, especially a certain tight end I know. Travis made a sound that was a mix of a squeak and a groan. The video kept going. Taylor showed off a beautiful ring with a diamond that sparkled in the light. Are you ready to put a ring on it, Travis Kelsey? She asked with a playful smile. There was dead silence in the room. Then Travis's throat made a sound like a moose being choked. He jumped up and hopped on one leg while the other got caught in the microphone cord. He stuttered, she, she, and finally said, she did it. She freaking asked. Jason, who was still thinking about what had happened, said, she asked what? Travis finally got himself together and yelled, to marry me, dude. Taylor freaking Swift wants to be my wife. He began a happy dance that could only be described as a cross between the gritty and a windmill flapping. Jason finally got a hold of a random microphone while he was doubled over with laughter. Hold on, champ. We gotta get some reaction here. This is a new heights first. Travis took the mic because he was still very excited. He choked up and broke into a wide grin. Nation, Kelsey here. I can't believe it. She's the most amazing woman I know, and... I'm gonna say yes. Of course I'm gonna say yes. Things went from bad to worse during the show. While Travis told stories about their relationship in a loud, emotional voice, Jason made fun of his brother for finally getting married. The internet went crazy. Fans and athletes all over the world congratulated the happy pair on their hashtag hashtag Kelsey said yes. After the recording was over, Jason leaned over to talk to Travis. So, uh, any idea when you plan on actually asking her? Travis rubbed the back of his neck in shame and said, to be honest, I thought I was the one surprising her. Guess the tables turned. Jason laughed. Typical Kelsey move. But hey, at least the whole world knows you're gonna lock it down now. Travis smiled, and he looked more determined than ever. He went to his phone and said, you bet your sweet bippy I will. His fingers flew across the screen. Time to make another unforgettable moment, Miss Swift.